की नगरी हकीकत बनाने जो है दिल एक दिन का ये किस्सा नहीं खुद के होने की पहेली सुलझाने जो है दिल एक दिन का ये किस्सा नहीं कदमों में जमा जो थका चैन की नींद आती वह कदमों में जमा जो थका चैन की नींद आती वह इतनी Shanti Yesterday's Murli 18 January 2021 which was the recorded Murli of 18 January 2010 Baba said Bab Dada saw that some children are deeply lost in remembrance and are engaged in service they experience amrit vela very well they even have the experience of being bodiless but when it is a time to become karma yogis then there is a difference in being able to do both together of being a yogi and of performing action karma and yoga they make effort to have a balance of karma and yoga but although they experience a powerful stage at amrit vela there is a difference in their action they have to labor bab dada has told all the children that destruction of the world is to take place suddenly If instead of paying attention throughout the day because of lacking imbibing something there is a difference in the stage of being a karma yogi then what you do when destruction comes however bab dada is not going to announce the date of destruction of the world do you know when the period of your life is going to end do any of you know on what date your death is going to take place Do any one of you know? Those who know, raise your hands. Anything can happen suddenly. When something happens through the elements, so many die at the same time. So do not become careless by thinking of the date of the destruction of the world. The slogan of your Jagdamba was, Never say sometime, kab, but now, ab. Anything can happen tomorrow, but I definitely have to remain ever ready. So do, all of you, Pay this much attention to your preparation. Have you settled the accounts of your karma? In all four subjects of knowledge, yoga, dharna and service, have you made such preparation in every way? Have you checked that you have the experience of complete and unlimited disinterest? Vairagya. Have you checked in your heart whether you are ever ready? So very important practice Baba has given us yesterday. There are many children who are very good at Amrit Vela, but... when it comes to karma the balance is lost and baba has said how much attention you pay towards the during the day time because if this balance is not there you will not achieve what you want it to achieve and don't ask about the destruction of the world do you know your own destruction date no so there is one hidden practice Baba has given us yesterday. It can be converted into meditation. What is that practice? The practice of death. The practice of dying. Practice dying every day. 
This is known as death awareness meditation. This is known as death awareness meditation. This can be done in half an hour. And there are about nine stages or nine points of contemplation in this death awareness meditation. Death is one such thing that none can escape. And if you want to remain in that stage of high awareness, mindfulness, meditation, experiencing death is very important. The art of dying. Baba has taught us to die alive, marjiva, jan. So how to practice this? It is known as Marana Sati. The practice is known as Marana Sati. And there are many different types of meditation on death. But it is a very pleasurable experience to pass through this stage. How to do that? The Murli talks about and multiple Murlis. Baba has often spoken about death at length in different Murlis. Every now and then there is mention of death. But unless and until the experiences of spirituality is at the level of body, they are merely contemplation or some intellectual exercise. The deepest experience should take place at the level of body. You should experience something in the body. And then that experience becomes permanent or long lasting or it brings some transformation in the subconscious personality. So what you have to do in this meditation? This is known as death awareness meditation. We don't have that much time to sit here and do that. But I'll just give theory part, which you can practice any time in the day. So you can set the alarm for 30 minutes. Sit alert, not now, but whenever you do this, your back should be straight, hands and feet should be very stable, not moving. And then close the eyes and sit and first calm the mind and body by whatever method you want to do that. If you want to practice soul consciousness, you practice soul consciousness. But any methods practicing concentration on breath, just relax the body. That is the first step. And then there are about nine points to contemplate. Take one one point and churn that point deeply. The first point is everyone has to die. This is the first point of contemplation. What you will do in this point? Remember all the personalities, all the people, your colleagues, your friends, or your relatives who have died. What you have to think in this? There are nine points. The first point is everyone has to die. So think, sit and think. In my life, who are those people whom I have seen? They are no more now. Whom I had known earlier and now they are no more. They might be somebody's parents, friends, relatives or work partners, anything. <laughs> Colleagues, seniors, juniors, anybody, boss also. <laughs> Everybody has to die. So go in deep contemplation, visualization about who are the people who died in front of me, whose funeral I attended. Think of all those people. So five minutes to this. Okay. Second, lifespan is short. Second point. Lifespan is very short. Think about it. Different ages which people died. 
somebody died at the age of 10 somebody died at the age of 20 somebody died at the age of 80 90 whatever but think life span is short third point the time for my spiritual development spiritual purusharth is very less how much less it is just think about it how much time is remaining and how i spend my whole day yesterday's murli baba said make a timetable of your dincharya of your mind while you prepare food mothers what timetable you have in your mind whilst you sit in sunday's murli when you sit in class always remember who is teaching me we are the students of god he is my friend he is my mother he is my son i am master almighty authority at amrit vela what sort of soma and self respect you take so all those things so third point is time for my spiritual effort very less so these are the three now there are this practice of death awareness meditation is divided in nine points what you can do is one day you can take just three points next day three points and next day three points or you can take one point each day and nine days or you can put all nine points in one meditation so these are the three different methods of doing this meditation this is to increase awareness of death people don't love to think of death this is a very uncomfortable subject they love to think of enjoyment of life and we are here we are thinking about dying it is such a in auspicious subject you are discussing early in the morning at 5:15 it's not a very good topic to discuss but then this is truth bhagwan god himself is saying next point fourth human life expectancy is very uncertain human life expectancy is uncertain we never never know who will die at which moment think about it bring that point you can have this theory we will be posting this in group all the nine points you can make even placards or you can write it on board and think about each one of the points then there are many diseases in the world there are there are many causes of death think about different causes with which people died what are the different somebody died of cancer somebody died of accident remember all your relatives by what diseases they died think about your whole life the different diseases you saw people dying with then sixth human body is very fragile very very vulnerable anything can happen to any body at any time you never know think about the fragility of this body the sensitive nature of this body that is a sixth point so first three then again these three you can take that first day one day this and second day then 6 7th 8th and 9th the other nine points at the time of death no material thing of this world is going to help me no money no house no comforts no equipments no instruments no sadhan nothing no paraphernalia of this world is going to help me at the time of death no bank account <laughs> no money in my bank account nothing is going to help me at the time of death i am totally absolutely alone helpless if i feel if i give if i am suffering from some incurable disease and if i say to doctor just cure me i can give you anything what you want he will not so money cannot stop you from dying then none of my beloved ones can help me at this moment my wife my children my husband my family my relatives my friends 
my colleagues, my partners in business, nobody is going to help me. And last, my own body cannot help me. My This body also cannot help me. These are the nine points of these are the nine points of death meditation. Practice dying every day. This is such a good statement. You can write down this on the top. Practice dying every day. Living death. Living death. And see what is the aftermath. What is the result if I die? Today I am alive. Can anybody say that I will stay alive tomorrow also? Baba says, raise your hands. If you know the time of your death. So nobody is no, nobody knows the time of death. Do any one of you know on what date your death is going to come to take place? Do any one of you know? If you know, those who know, raise your hands. Anything can happen suddenly. Anything can happen. Suddenly, it would be a game of one second. Babdada is not going to announce the date of destruction of the world. What you will go to, what you are going to do with the, even if you know the destruction, date of destruction of the world. When you die, when you get destroyed, everything is destroyed already. What you will do with the date of destruction. So this is a eye opening thing that we remain unaware of this great secret of life and we live as if we are going to stay here whenever we see somebody dying we say that oh he has died but we don't think that I am also going to die so whenever somebody dies and you go and attend funeral what you should think whose body is burning my body is burning Death. Death has remained a mystery throughout the cycle. Nobody has understood death properly. So, this is a very, very, very important practice. The slogan of your Jagdamba was Ab and not Kab. Do it now. Whatever you want to do, whatever you have planned, Whatever purushat, whatever effort, whatever exercise, spiritual exercise. Because what is the third point? The time of spiritual purushat, the time of spiritual effort, the time of spiritual improvement, the time of filling the soul with spiritual powers is very less. Is very less. Hmm? So time is very less. Thinking on time. It's a very, very important practice. So, this is a... Do this every day. How much time? 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Sit back straight and relax posture and then begin this deep contemplation one after another, one after another. Take one point, think. Take another point, think. Third point, think. Not just think, then you can add visualization to that. And it becomes all the more powerful. Stay in a very still position. Move, don't move. So that you feel that yes, this body is not is there. Okay? So, this is homework from yesterday's Murli. Om Shanti.